animal rights activists hoping to hear from a puppy mill operator charged with animal cruelty will have to wait. As KITV 4's Joe Kuramoto reports, a Kaneohe District Court judge continued the hearing to give the defense more time to look over more than 100 counts. Animal rights activists packed the courtroom, anxious to hear what the owner of an alleged puppy mill would say at today's arraignment. But the defense attorney asked for a six-week delay, saying he needed more time to review the charges filed against his client, Radley International. Uh, we don't have any of the allegations, any of the details of the allegations. There's 153 uh, counts, so um, there's obviously a lot of information uh, that we need to go through. Bradley International, the company that owns and operates the farm, was charged May 27th with animal cruelty for the 153 dogs it had. The Hawaiian Humane Society, disappointed with the delay, says that the number of dogs has swelled to 232 because several litters of puppies were born in their custody within the last three months. The Humane Society says the seized dogs are doing well in foster care, but is hoping the courts will grant its forfeiture request before the next court hearing in order for the agency to help the animals. And I hope that uh, Bradley International does the right thing and, and uh, you know, allow us the ownership of the animals and, you know, give us restitution for the hundreds of thousands of dollars that uh, we've spent caring for these animals. The attorney for Bradley International says his client will likely plead not guilty to the charges. How do you sleep at night? Impassioned dog lovers like Dorian Lovell, who says she unknowingly bought a dog from the Waimanalo breeder and is currently fostering some of the seized dogs, said she simply wants to see justice done. So I'm hoping and praying that these people will stop delays and let's make some accountability happen here. Joe Kuramoto, KITV4 oh, nice News. The arraignment has been rescheduled for July 20th. Now, each charge of animal cruelty is punishable by a maximum of one year in jail and up to a $2,000 fine. But missing is the key figure in the case. Both the Humane Society and Defense Attorney Burke say they do not know the whereabouts of David Becker, the owner of the Waimanalo Farm and one of the officers listed among Bradley International.